morning, Year 7s from Highfield School. My name's Paul Henshaw. I'm uh, the chairman of the Matlock Bath Producer Boats and Decorated Boat Builders Association. Every year we build models for the river, put them on conventional rowing boats and row them up, up and down the river just here. We've been building models now for 118 years. For the last 18 years, we've been asked by the council who sponsor and run the event to, to build a candle boat. And ever since then, we've been building a candle model to put on the river just here. Your challenge this, this year is to design a model for the illuminated boats. And this is the material we use, which is nice and light. It's plastic and very easy to work with. These are the candles we use to light it with. So a standard jar which we fasten to the corex, and then we drop the candle in lit into the jar, which gives the light for the illuminations and makes it look very, very pretty. You'll be expected to design the model and create it in a dragon style den presentation to us. We will decide which model we are going to build for this year's illuminations. Don't forget, there's over 100,000 people come to this event every year. Hello there, my name's Chris. This is my hobby, but as a job, I did as a model maker and worked on TV, films, worked on Gladiator, Thunderbirds and Star Wars and Shooting Stars. Right then, this is the workshop at the moment. It's a bit of a mess. This, I suppose, is one down from a model, which is what you're probably looking at, which is a maquette. That was the original car you just saw outside that was going to be covered in fabric, ended up being covered in metal. These all start in here. This is probably the most important thing. Of all the stuff here, this is my current sketchbook. It goes absolutely everywhere with me. I don't get anywhere without it. And it is full of stuff. For something that I make, there might be that many pages, maybe that much, before I even then get to something like this. First thing to consider when making anything is probably scale. This, this simple thing, it was a silly bit of a project, and it was to see if you could make the tiniest little boat. Here's the man to prove whether you could lie in it. That was the brief. Can you lie in it? So this is made to scale. That scale, it's, and I would it's imperial, it's not metric, but it works well, it's an inch to a foot. So basically, you've got a foot long rule. Every one of those is worth one inch. So this person here, we give them a quick measure. There he is, there, six inches, so we know he's six foot tall. If you're doing a boat, a good thing to learn is most things on boats are symmetrical. If what you're making is symmetrical, don't waste your time trying to draw both sides accurately. Fold a bit of paper in half, another good tip, you need a friend for this. If you're doing a boat curve, find anything that's flexible, it can be a ruler, anything, you get your mate to hold it there, and you simply draw around it. You know, that's symmetrical, that'll do the job. Things to think about is if you're making a model, is who you're making it for. You've got to design it, you've got to build it, you've got to show it to someone that wants it in their show, in their boating parade. So maybe think about what's going on during that time of the year. I think we've got a Bond film coming up, we've got lots of cycle events going on for the at the moment. So maybe you could use them, a good way to sell it, or if you just got a crazy good idea that you want to use, just go for it. Because if you're into it, that's the main thing. There's no point making something you're not into and don't enjoy. Just go for it and then hope they like it. But you've got to be realistic. It's all very well thinking, I know what I'll do. I'll have a 20 foot shark, it will look really cool. We'll have its jaws opening, we'll have something being decapitated. It'll look brilliant and it would look brilliant. But the, they're going to look at it and go, we can't build this, it's impossible, it's too big, we've only got so many resources. So let's keep it real. I think one simple way would be to keep it in the constraints of the boat, more or less. If you build something that hangs out over here and hangs out over there and hangs out over there, what will end up is the boat will sink. Which would be good fun for a moment, but then probably that would be that. So yep, yeah, keep it semi-simple, keep it realistic but then just have a good go. Really think out of the box possibly, think of some moving parts possibly. I've seen a few that have simple moving parts, that have a paddle steel, that have bits that go around. If you keep it simple, they can probably do it. Another thing definitely to remember is, 
If there's your boat, there'll be a guy sat about here rowing it. He's got to move his arms and the oars, which are going to be there. They're going to be free to move. So whatever you make, you've got to leave room for him. Make sure that all fits. You can probably build structures around him. As long as he can see, that's fine. They can use mirrors, but don't completely encase him. Make sure he can fit in there. So then, top tips. Make sure you plan it well. Draw lots of drawings, get lots of sketches down before you start work. Make a test model, practice on bits of paper that don't really matter, you can make mistakes on. Remember to be creative and realistic. Find a line between the two, make sure it will work and it can work. Work as a team, make sure everyone's doing something, being busy, not being bored, because there's nothing like being bored. You don't want to do that. Expert judges will be looking at this, so make sure that you can do the best work you can and make it the best you can. Well, I'd like to wish you all good luck, Year 7s, for the candle boat. Uh, I'm looking forward to coming in to seeing the small models, what you're going to produce, uh, and judging the competition.